Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. Please watch this video from the beginning until the end so you don't miss any of the tips that I'm gonna give you. A year ago, I did a video on how to move WhatsApp from an iPhone to a Motorola device, but the Motorola device didn't have Android 12, so I needed to use a phone with Android 12 in the middle. And I used a Pixel 3 so I can move to the Motorola. One year later, I'm gonna do the same video, but this time the move is gonna be directly because on this Motorola, we have Android 12, okay? So the the first thing we need to do is we need to update both devices. I'm going to move this WhatsApp with all these chats and this one is the one with most of the conversation. We have pictures, we have videos, we have contacts, all kind of file types, emojis, memojis, stickers. Once we see all this stuff here, we're going to consider this transfer successful. I want you to do a fresh backup of this WhatsApp on the iPhone. Go to chats, chat backup, this end-to-end -end encrypted backup, make it off. Make sure it's off off okay and back it up all right so once you have the backup what you need to do is on the android you need to factory reset it how can i factory reset it go to settings system i guess reset options erase all data factory reset erase all data erase all data and they're asking erase all data erase all data <laughs> oh man how many times? now factory data reset all right guys so now the motorola is factory reset we're gonna set it up really quick searching for wi-fi networks I need to log into my Wi-Fi. It says copy apps and data. Next, use your old device. Find your old device cable, insert it to the old device, connect both devices. All right, so let's connect both devices. If you have the newest iPhone 15, you're gonna use USB-C. But since I'm using the iPhone 12, I'm still using the lighting cable. And on the other end, I have a USB-C. So let's connect both devices. It says trust this computer, trust. Devices are connected, next. Okay, so you need to log into your Google account. I agree. Getting ready to copy. All right, that's good. Okay, so here, guys, you can see on the apps, WhatsApp Messenger. So I'm going to deselect everything, and I'm just going to select WhatsApp Messenger. So apps, one app selected. And I'm going to click copy. Now we're going to open our camera app on the iPhone, and we're going to read this QR code. And we're going to click on the link that's going to open the move chats to Android. Click start, continue on your new phone, getting account info, Google services, set up a pin. I'm going to skip this, continue set up. I'm going to click leave and get reminder. It says copy is done. You can disconnect the cable. So it looks like we finished copying the data guys. So here on the iPhone, I can just click cancel, cancel transfer. And I'm still going to be signing up to WhatsApp. Okay, so let's click done. How to get your cloud data. I'm not going to do that. Turn off iMessage. Getting your phone ready. Let's stay in touch. Track phone. Choose your theme. You're all set. Done. Okay, let's see if we're going to look at this. Completing setup, right? Zero of 14 applications. Updates. Install. What's up? Install pending, you know? Install spending. What's up? So that's what you need to see, guys. You can stop the updates because you can do that later, you know? What we want is what's up to be installed, not these guys. So by closing this, you're making the whole process faster, right? And it says pending. So this is the one that we are waiting for, the WhatsApp messenger. What happened? We click on it. Ah, okay. So it's going to be downloaded. It's going to be downloaded and then we're going to be able to open it. But we cannot open it until it finished downloading, you know. Finally, it's starting to download WhatsApp Messenger. Installing WhatsApp Messenger. It's installed. Now we're going to open. And it says, welcome to WhatsApp. English. Agree and continue. Now the phone number. 754-272-0338. Okay. That's the phone number. Let's see what happened. Connecting. Look at this, guys. Enter this verification code on your new iPhone. Why are we getting this message instead of getting the text message? Because this session was open. I have a current WhatsApp session open on the iPhone. That's why when I request the verification code, I got this. So we're going to put it 402222. Verification complete. Now I'm logged out of WhatsApp on the iPhone. I'm going to continue on the Android. Allow. That's my name. Let's see if we had my picture. Importing chat history. Click start. It's importing. Import complete. Next. That's me. 
Now let's see if it recognizes all my chats. We're going to put a uh, daily on this account end to end encrypted backup of include videos undone. And that's it, guys. We have all our WhatsApp data from the iPhone to the Motorola. And this is the chat with most of the stuff, right? We have the pictures, we have the videos, contacts, all kind of file types, emojis, memojis, stickers, audio files, everything. Everything got transferred, guys, from the iPhone to the Motorola. So this is a success, a complete success. So I just show you guys how to move all your WhatsApp chat data from an iPhone to an Android, in this case, a Motorola. All right, guys, so this is great. It works. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's the best way you support my channel so I can continue doing videos for you. Have a great day, and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.